What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Test, the show that I started as a very limited series that now never ends because your favorite brands keep releasing dumb shit for me to buy. So there you go. Uh, my name is Sean, and I do this uh, pretty much every Saturday for the last like three months, and that makes me kind of feel weird, I guess. It's just a very odd coincidence. I think I think I had five items originally, and I was like, cool, this will be nice to have on some Saturdays for a while. And we'll just let it run out. And then I just kept buying stuff, which is, I mean, maybe more of a commentary on me, honestly, if, if we're getting, if we're being honest with ourselves, it's more of a commentary on, on me. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we're still going, still, uh, still rolling through, uh, <laughs> a bunch of items, uh, cereals, Kit Kat bars, limited edition goldfish, uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. Uh, all kinds of wild varieties of things. If you like this kind of content, twitch.tv slash Rex is where you can catch the live streams. This does not have a set time, set day. It's just whenever I have it. So the best way to know if I'm streaming that kind of stuff is to make sure that you're following over there and you're notified. Or if you'd rather just watch the VOD, that's totally fine too. YouTube.com slash Rex. That's where to watch it because they go up every Saturday at 6 a.m. You get a little 10 minute video of me eating. Because Lord knows I need more footage of myself eating on the internet or on my hard drive. I don't really know where I was going with that sentence. <sighs> Please scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. Help, help it, you know what I mean? Give me suggestions. Let this show never end. I had an idea. I had an idea for a stream where I go to, uh, there's a couple of accounts that I follow. Uh, Pops Exotics and Desert Drinks that I follow on like Instagram and Twitter. And uh, they have like all kinds of weird sodas and stuff. And I thought, you know what I could do is budget out like $100 and the Twitch chat or YouTube commenters could uh, decide what I buy. So if that sounds interesting to you, if that sounds interesting, let me know in the comments below. We can figure something out, maybe a sub goal or something. I don't know. I, Lord knows I'm willing to just put $100 into shit for content. But I'll do it. It doesn't have, there doesn't even have to be like a monetary benefit for me at all. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I got... $100 in donations. No, it's just, I got $100 to fucking spend it. I don't give a shit. Anyway, so if that's if that if that genuinely does sound interesting to you, uh, please let me know down in the comments below because I, I did think about it. And that stuff is kind of expensive. It's like a lot of cool stuff from like Taiwan and like across, like overseas. Like a lot of Taiwan, a lot of Japan, a lot of like Brazil, United Kingdom, stuff like that. Um, but because of that, it's very expensive. I did, I have bought from one of them before. We did the Mountain Dew chips probably a year and a half ago, two years ago, probably coming up on maybe. Um, and that was fun. That was a lot of fun. So yeah. Anyway, uh, today we have a summer item, I guess. I don't really know exactly what they are because I'm kind of confused of why they exist in the first place. And that is a uh, tangy ranch Doritos, which I was kind of confused because it has a new color, a lovely new color here. I'll flip the light on. Maybe it'll show a little bit. Oof. That looks, that looks better. Okay. Um, we have, we have these tangy ranch Doritos, lovely color on the back or the bag on the packaging. I wanted to say bag and packaging at the same time, but back just came out, which doesn't make any sense at all. Um, but we have this, this new lovely color of packaging. And I was like, they already have cool ranch Doritos. What the hell is tangy ranch Doritos? And as one idiot with money, uh, at a store, um, I bought some. So one idiot with money, a lot of money, came up with an idea to call a Dorito chip Tangy Ranch instead of just regular Cool Ranch. And then another idiot with money at a store across the country was like, I'd like to buy that place. But I didn't just stop there, did I? Because that's not how I do things. You know, I buy things in two. So to make sure we can figure out what exactly the difference is between Ranch, Cool Ranch, and Tangy Ranch, uh, I made sure to buy... Not only a whole bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, but the biggest bag. Well, this isn't the family size. Never mind. The biggest bag I could reasonably find because they were two for five. Uh, I was already 250 in the hole. Why not double it? That sort of mentality. Just in case you're curious as to why I'm like broke all the time is because of this. Stuff like this. Five dollars here. Six dollars there. Seven, some stuff here. I don't know. <laughs> Slowly falling apart in the old brain here. Um... So Doritos, as, as I, after I was uh, at the store, crunched all those chips, by the way, resale value going just absolutely downhill here. 
I did some brief research at the store while I was getting ready to purchase these chips that I had already made up my mind. There was nothing on the internet that was going to like turn me to be like, no, don't buy these. I was just, I was dug gung ho on it and I was like ready to roll. So I did a little research. Turns out that Doritos is actually putting out tangy, tangy ranch and tangy pickle as a like summer season thing. Now I've seen the tangy pickle before, but I don't believe I've tried it. So maybe we'll see in the future if we get Tangy Pickle. I did just realize that I forgot to look at the store for them today, which would have been a smart idea so that I could just make one big video. Oh, but now hold on. The content part of my brain is working. Hold on. It's, it's grinding. It's working some gears here. Two videos. Double the viewership. Oh, that works. Double the watch time. Oh, that's good stuff. Ooh, scheming, scheming. Okay, I have talked long enough. It is time to open some chips. Now, Doritos Cool Ranch, I've had them before, okay? I've had a lot of them, all right? You don't get guns like these by not eating Cool Ranch Doritos, okay? So, we're just going to get a base. Just to get a base, we're going to try one of these. Make sure that we know what we're working with from a flavoring profile. I sound scientific, trying to sound smart here. I'm just eating chips on the internet. Not all that much going, on, going into it. I like to pretend that there's more, but hey. Let's, okay, so we'll get a base here. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 This is me laying the base with my hand here. Just, I don't know how you do it. I assume having fingers like this does not help. Maybe more of a flat. And there you go. There's a little, little flat right there. Where's flat. There we go. Laying the base. Okay. <sighs> All right. Spent two fifty on this bag. Gonna eat literally one chip out of it. There was a there was a sequence of time where I I would go to movies with my mom, which I love doing. Love going to movies with my mom. But what I like to do, and I probably shouldn't broadcast this on the internet, but fuck it. I like to do. I have a very strict and rigid routine before I go to a movie, <laughs> to the point where people will ask me, they're like, Sean, would you like a ride down to the movie? And I'm like, no, because that throws off my time. I have I have a very specific schedule. Okay, walk out. Get on the bus, go downtown, go to the shop around the corner, buy a small bag of chips and a drink. Instead of a small bag of chips, maybe it's like a sweet treat, like a Kit Kat, whatever, it doesn't matter. Get them, put them in my bag, take them to the theater, consume them before the movie starts. Don't touch them during the movie because you're focused on the movie. Sip on the drink throughout. Um, I would go down and get my mom a little bag of chips, get her a little drink. Whatever she wanted. Usually usually in the morning she'd say it would be a Diet Mountain Dew morning. Okay? Sometimes it was Diet Pepsi morning. Sometimes it was Diet Mountain Dew morning. Go down there. Get the chips. And I would usually eat like about half the bag of chips. Maybe three quarters. Three quarters. But I noticed over the course of about four of these movie viewings, which would be over like the span of, with my mom, eh, maybe a month or two. Um, the span of just myself would be like a week. Um, I ate three quarters of the bag. Then I ate half the bag. Then I ate a quarter of the bag. Then one time I literally ate one singular chip. And then the next time I just didn't open the bag. So there you go. That uh, <laughs> that very small comment spurred that story. I hope you enjoyed story time with Sean. Uh, now please enjoy me crinkling this bag. Oh, man. Oh, man. And sometimes you just record content and you just know it's great. Sometimes you crinkle a bag over yourself talking and you don't get to make your point across. It's like I, what I was saying. <laughs> All right. What I was saying is that sometimes you just film the content and you're just like, this is it. This is this is where it's at. Feeling Lucy. Stop crinkling the bag over your own fucking talking, you idiot. All right, we are now opening the Tangy Ranch bag of chips. They smell a little different. I shouldn't have closed these. Hold on. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay, all right. They smelled it. Ooh, these, I took way too big of a whiff of the Tangy Ranch. Holy fuck. Whoo, whoo. Okay, these you can just inhale... No problem. Won't bother you. These, maybe be a little careful. Just like a little bit. Okay? 
I definitely smell different. I don't know if tangy's probably just in my head, but they do smell different. I think these smell better, but I am more used to this scent. Yeah, these smell, these smell like ranch has gone bad. These smell like somebody left it in the sun and you're like, are you going to clean that up? And they're like, no, no, we're going to not do that. And then you're like, what the fuck, Billy? Why, why the fuck are you not doing this? Okay. Uh, here is a tangy ranch chip. It looks very similar to the previous chip. Please focus camera. I am showing you chip. You focus on chip, chip and look at chip. Okay. Was it Chip, Penny, and Kleenex? Spongebob's friends or whatever? Alright. Somebody in the comments let me know below. Okay. Oh, boy. Maybe it's, maybe it's just like a very potent ranch. Like a kid got a hold of the ranch bottle. And they're like, you know what? I, I love ranch! And you just you see him squeeze the life out of the ranch bottle. And it's like, well, hope Uncle Timmy got his ranch. Because... <laughs> Fucking little Billy over here eating all the ranch. He's going to dip like two nuggets in it. It will spill on the ground. He will not eat the rest of it. Because <laughs> that's how picnics go. It's like you give a kid like a plate of food. And the like the rounder the food, like the worse the idea is. Like, oh, here's just two hot dogs. And you go, hmm, what's your plan there, bud? And you just, you watch them like kind of hold it but not hold it very well. So the hot dogs roll to the end and then the plate tilts and then it just goes off. Uh, I say that as a joke, but that's based on a true story. That happened fairly recently. Okay. Oh, God. These smell, these smell terrible. I don't like these. Okay. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. No. 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 <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> these are very these are very ranchy oh my god everything is flashing before my eyes my life the decision of flashing back to the grocery store being like this is a good idea and then like grabbing the bag and being like content oh boy oh my god oh my god these are awful, awful, awful chips. Oh my goodness. They're too ranchy. Ugh. I don't want to just, just eat the ranch bottle. Drink the ranch bottle. Oh my. Ugh. This is like when a kid or me is like, I'd like fish sticks, but it's really just an excuse to eat tartar sauce without judgment. Like a lot of tartar sauce. <clears throat> Oh my! Gross! Oh, <coughs> oh man! People probably thought that my Oreo review was dramatic, and if they thought that one was dramatic, this one is uh, more so. These are terrible. How much do you love ranch? If you love ranch at about a twelve, you might enjoy these. If you like ranch at like a moderate level, like a normal person, these are not for you. They don't even taste tangy. I don't know what tangy would mean, but they just taste like a lot of ranch. Again, I go back to little Billy, you know, with his with his plate of dino nuggets. It's about four of them on there. And he uses half the bottle. The, he's, the, the nuggets are swimming in the, in the ranch. They're just swimming in there. He's like gobbing up handfuls of it just to eat the... Oh, God gross that's a disgusting story that's a disturbing story uh either way uh these chips are not good i don't like these the, it says on the back it says flavor on another level now the in your head the marketing would tell you that it's another level up uh it's actually just another level down this is like you're on like the normal floor you went to like the experimental scary basement floor and uh it things did not go well you tripped you missed the wet floor sign, you tripped, knocked your head on the wall, got a concussion, had to go to the hospital. Fun mall trip over. That's what that is. That's what these are. These are the equivalent of a serious brain injury. Okay? And I just, I mean that they're just that miserable to eat. I'd like to just be clear about that. I do appreciate that I wore a shirt that matches though, so good on me. 
That's about the best thing I can say about these chips. The bag at least looks nice. The chips are terrible. Ugh. Anyway, if you like more content like this, <laughs> if you like me rambling and talking, uh, you can subscribe right here to youtube.com slash Rex, where you can catch all of these uh, as they air. Uh, we have, I, this is the last one that I've currently filmed, uh, but we have approximately, I have approximately three months, so there's probably 11 or 12 of these t individualized taste tests. Uh, if you like that, go dig around in some of the weekend reviews. There's lots of limited edition fun stuff in there. Um... Yeah, whatever you're watching, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Twitch.tv slash Rex. That's the place to watch them live if you want. Um, however you're watching, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next taste test that hopefully doesn't make me want to die.